The 9508 has an adjustable height base. By switching the orientation of the bracket, you can change the angle your phone sets at. The 9508 has 8 buttons surrounding an LCD screen interface with 3 pages. The display shows your extension number, time, date, and button function labels. The top right corner is one of your message waiting lights. There are 4 soft keys below the screen to interact with options displayed on the screen. The four-way navigation keys surround the OK key to navigate the options and menus displayed on the screen as well as the other two pages of the display. The message button to the left of the Navi keys is to access voicemail if assigned. The phone exit key to the right of the Navi keys returns the display to the home screen from any other menu display. The 9508 has 8 buttons surrounding an LCD screen interface with 3 pages. Below the Navi keys are the Contacts, Menu, and Call Log buttons. Surrounding the dial pad are the Headset, Speakerphone, Mute, and Volume Control buttons. Section 2 Function Button Overview The four soft keys below the screen interact with functions available depending on the status of the phone. When the phone is idle, the redial and feature buttons are available. Redial opens a list of the last 10 numbers that you have called. Both internal and external numbers will be listed. Using the Navi keys, scroll through the list and highlight the number you wish to call again. Press the call soft key to dial the number again. Pressing redial twice will immediately dial the very last number that you called. Features let you choose from several functions available such as pick up, forward, etc. When active on a call, hold, conference, transfer, and drop are available. Hold places the caller on hold at your extension only. You will only be able to pick up this call at your extension. Press the hold key to place them on hold. While the call is on hold, you will see that the call appearance button green light flashes. To pick up the call, simply press the call appearance button that is green flashing and you will be connected again. Conference lets you add additional parties into your active call. To add callers while active on your original call, press the conference key. The original call will be placed on hold. You will see the first call appearance green lights flash. You will hear dial tone and be active on a second call appearance. Then dial the number for the person you wish to add to the call, whether it is an internal or external number. After the destination answers the second call, you can press the conference button to bring the additional party into the call. If you wish to add another party to the call, simply repeat the process again. Conference, place call, conference again to add them to the call. Transfer lets you transfer a call to another destination, primarily on another extension, but if administered an external number as well. Keep in mind, if external transfers are allowed, two outside lines will be in use for the duration of the call. This can make you vulnerable to toll fraud if not careful. There are two types of transfer, blind and screened. Blind transfers are calls that are sent immediately without speaking to the recipient before releasing the call to them. To perform a blind transfer, when active on a call, press the transfer key. The call will be placed on hold. You will see the first call appearance red and green lights flash. You will hear dial tone and be active on the second call appearance. Then dial the extension that you want to send them to and press the complete soft key. The call will be immediately transferred to the destination. Screen transfers are calls that you announce to the destination before releasing the call to them. To perform a screen transfer, while active on the call, press the transfer key. The call will be placed on hold. You will see the first call appearance, red and green lights flash. 
then dial the extension that you want to send them to and wait for the recipient to answer. You may then speak to the recipient before releasing the call to them. Notice you will be active on the second call button. The red and green lights for the second call appearance button will be solid. After you announce the call to the recipient, simply press the complete soft key or hang up and the call will be immediately connected to the recipient. If the recipient does not wish to receive the call or you need to send the call to somewhere else, you can pick back up on the original call by pressing the first call appearance that is red green flashing. The three buttons above the dial pad are Contacts, Menu, and Call Log. Contacts opens the contact list. Sort the list by using the left and right arrow keys between All, Personal, External, Users, and Groups. You can scroll through the list by using the up and down arrow keys. You can also spell the name by using the 2 through 9 keys to match a name. When the correct contact is displayed, press the Call Soft key to dial the contact. When you first enter the contacts menu, you can select a new soft key to enter a new personal contact. Be sure to enter a 9 before the number to access an outside line for dialing the new contact. The menu key above the number 2 button is used to access phone settings. Use arrow keys to Navi Options menu. Select and exit soft keys to enter a particular setting or exit the settings menu. Call log opens a call log for your phone. You can use the right and left arrow keys to sort the list between All, Missed, Answered, and Outgoing. The Call Log button will light up red when you have a missed call. Surrounding the dial pad are Headset, Speakerphone, Mute, and the Volume Control. Headset activates and deactivates the headset port if used in conjunction with an additional headset. It functions the same way that the speaker button does for switching to, deactivating hanging up, or activate off hook on the headset when controlling it from the telephone set. Speaker button activates and deactivates the speakerphone function of the telephone. To place a speakerphone call, you may simply start dialing or press the speaker button, then dial. To disconnect a speakerphone call, press the speaker button again. The speaker button will light up red when the feature is active. To switch from using the handset to the speakerphone, simply press the speaker button before placing the handset into the cradle. To switch back again, simply pick up the handset from the cradle again. The mute button mutes the microphone for either the handset or the speakerphone depending on which you are actively using at the time. When you switch from the handset to the speakerphone or vice versa, the mute feature will deactivate and you will have to select the mute button again to reactivate it for the call. Volume controls the volume for the, all the functions of the phone depending on what is active at the time. When the phone is idle, the volume controls the ring volume for the set. When you are active on the speakerphone, it controls the speakerphone volume. When active on the handset, it controls the handset volume. It does not control your outbound volume. Section 3. Placing and Receiving a Call To place a call, simply start dialing with the keypad. You will be automatically connected to the first call appearance and activate the speakerphone. To place an external call, you must first dial 9 and then the number. You may also go into contacts and place a call from there as well as the call log and redial as previously described. When receiving a call, the soft key options change to answer, send the call to voicemail, ignore the call, and drop the call. Pressing the answer soft key will answer the call by activating the speakerphone. Pressing the to voicemail soft key will send the caller to your voicemail. 
Pressing the ignore soft key will mute the ringing of your phone. The call will continue to be presented to your phone until any additional destination timers are met, such as voicemail coverage or forwarding. Pressing the drop soft key will stop the call from being presented to your phone and will send it immediately to your forward on no answer destination if set and enabled. Otherwise, the call will go to your voicemail if assigned. If no voicemail or forward is assigned, then drop will have no effect. Section 4. Voicemail To access voicemail, press the message button. You will then have a menu shown in the display that you can navigate using the arrow keys. The first option is to listen with the number of new, old, and save messages shown. You can press select to listen to the messages. Just use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the new, old, or save message options. Press the select soft key to enter the message list, and then listen soft key to play the first message. While the message is playing, you can press the more soft key to save or delete the message. The next option is message, which is used to record a message to send to another voicemail user. The next option is greeting, which is where you set your personal mailbox greeting. You may press listen to hear the current greeting or record to create a new greeting. When creating a new greeting, be sure to select the more soft key and then select submit soft key to save the new greeting. The next option is passcode to set a password for your mailbox. A password is required if you will be accessing your mailbox remotely. The final option is voicemail. This option allows you to turn off and on the voicemail coverage for your extension. To initialize your mailbox and to be available for the dial by name access, you must record your name. To record your name, you must dial from your phone extension star 89 pound. You will hear a menu. To hear your message, press 1. To record your message, press 2. To save your message, press 3. Press 2 and record your name only. Press 2 again to stop recording. You will hear the prompt again and you can select 1 to listen to your recorded name or you may press 3 to save the recorded name.